Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu. Let's continue on in our journey in Tyranny. Um, we are currently in the Gulf Glow Old Walls. We are in the process of looking for Red Fang, the leader of this tribe or whatever, to get the shield, I guess. I don't know. Let's take some more t Elder Teeth, which apparently the... Uh, these guys don't want us to do. Will they get angry at us? Who knows? That's a mystery. They see, don't seem to have noticed that I've taken the uh, the Elder Fang or Elder Teeth or whatever. The Azura Lith. Those is... Earthshakers have picked a tussle with Beastmen. Doubt this will end in laughs. Okay. So I guess we can take that as well. But let's maybe not. Where is Red Fang? There you are. Red Fang, we've come to speak with you. The beast woman cocks her head to one side, listening intently. Her ear flicks once, twice, and her eyes narrow suspiciously. Who pats here? Soft, soft, slow? Who braves to approach Ray Red Fang, guard eyes of Stone Soccer's old walls den? Speak, human. Quick, quick. Explain. Grimly, she spreads a grin, revealing teeth as dappled and brown as her muddy eyes. Or Red Fang will rip Trespasser's jaw from head. Do we just attack without warning? <laughs> I come for the Azura Shield. Hundred Blood sent me to you, saying you would give it to me. Maybe Prima would give shield to human. Maybe not. Red Fang does not know. Only knows to guard shield. If human can prove worth, Beast Woman will give shield. Kill Earth mystics who invade tribe lands. And then human can have shield. Well... I'm not opposed to killing more disfavored, so let's do it. Yeah. Very well, I'll get rid of the trespassers. The beast woman curls her claws against the flat, hairy plane of her stomach, trembling all over with excitement. Hurry, human. Do not wait to show might of stone stalkers to any who threaten tribe's freedom. She sighs and gazes towards the exit dreamily, perhaps considering joining you, however briefly. Hurry and kill. And let Beast Woman lick blood from fingers when finished. Please, please. You want to lick the blood from my fingers? Well, well, well. Hello, nurse. What if the blood was somewhere a little bit more... I don't know. Not on my fingers. How would you feel about that? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And battle time. <laughs> And Lantry, Lantry, did you just trip or something? Just straight up just fell? Like at the start of the fight? Lantry, you embarrass me sometimes, man. It should be fairly easy fights, so I'm just gonna like... Just kind of speed through them, I guess. Yeah, I get that there's someone there. I understand. Uh, I can go this way, I believe. Oh, well, well, well. Basilon. I guess we're starting this fight here. I, I thought Basilon would be the last one that we fight, but maybe not. Fantastic. Basilon, where are you going, bro? Come back. Okay, we've been dazed? Not good. Oh, shit. Are the beastmen dying? No, they're not. This just got knocked over, but they're swarming towards me, which is um, not ideal. So let's maybe slow the uh, fight down a little bit. Put the regular speed. Fantastic. Can we, in fact, get in the middle of this? Oh, right. So the beastmen killed them. So I guess it's not necessary for me to. On it. All right. Well, that's uh, everyone just kind of died a lot quicker than I'd expected. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. That's fine. We're good. I got it. Fantastic. Uh, let's do some looting. Thank you. Is there anything over there? No. I think we just have these guys up here. So let's climb the steep cliff. The biggest cliff ever. I'm sure Evil Knievel would uh, wet, his, wet himself if he looked at this. Uh, apparently there's a trap. Um, let's not. Okay, did we just trigger the trap? It's very possible that we might have triggered the trap. 
Verse, you can you not it. be there? Thank you. Okay. Verse, let's have you, if at all possible, do this one. I believe this one pushes enemies away or whatever, so go ahead. Nice. That pretty much did nothing. But I'm okay with it. Beat it down a little bit. Let's make sure that we sunder you. Can you do Aria of Resonance yet? Yes, you can. Yeah, it's a simple task, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to win it. Or accomplish it. Win it, what am I saying? Apparently I'm not winning it in English. Right. He's doing the bees dance. Fantastic. And that's everyone. Or at least it should be. What is this? Oh, it's just exquisite quality. Eh. On it. No biggie. Let's head back down over yonder. I wonder if Red Fang will be angry at us if we take the um the purple crystal right in front of him. Or her. It's a female, right? I think it's a matriarchal society in this uh beast people world. Red Fang, what do you gotta say? Vapebinder comes to Beast Woman, fur drenched in blood of Earth Mystics. Sight and scent pleases Beast Woman. Means body of Elder Teeth, Steelers now feed tribes lands. She pants heavily, breathing deeply in the scent of blood and death that swathes your armor. Her feral, mudded, mud brown eyes slide closed as she savors a smell, and a soft wine slips from the back of her throat. Hold your fingers out to the, for her to lick them. Great. A needy wine catches in her throat as her nostrils suddenly flare wide, and she sucks in a shuddering breath and licks her fingers, uh, licks her lips hungrily over and over, drooling slightly. Her muddy eyes open and are eager, begging as she leans forward and laves your, laves your, laughs your bloody fingers clean from knuckle to fingertip with her long hot tongue. She continues to lick and suck. Her strokes rough as splintered wood until finally no blood remains, and she sits back, satisfied. Red Fang likes human called Fate Binder, she purrs. Human has done great deed for stone stalkers. If Prima say, says human can take shield, then Red Fang will not stand in human's way. Fantastic, so we now have the Azure okay. Shield. Any bets on which sigil unleashes more scourges? <laughs> Let's take another charcoal rubbing. Found Fantastic. Something. Sorry, can't. And let's. Oh. Sigil of Pride Magic. Azure Shield. Ah, uh, it doesn't look amazing. Does it just need to be, like, I don't know, wielded a little more and then. Maybe it'll get a little better? Uh, it's. A fairly big penalty to my stats, but maybe I should try it on, I guess? I don't... I don't know. Can I improve the quality, maybe? Maybe that's what it is? I think that's what it is. Do we take this? Now we take it? That's really weird. Okay, so let's look at... Um, the charcoal rubbing. So it looks like a cabbage that's um exploding and giving birth to the sun okay i got it cabbage that oh I, right I, I keep forgetting that i can actually have this uh, on or open fantastic and that and i believe it's that one to that i got it and now we'll do the cabbage portion of the thing. That to that to up there. Down there. And that should be the last one. Fantastic. Let's head on upstairs and uh, claim our prize. Our third? Fourth? Twentieth spire? Possibly.
Yes. What's the next upgrade we can get for this place? The now familiar light of the spire courses skyward, trailing off toward the horizon in the direction of Vendrian's well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away as you give in to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. The Aurora Spire, in Gulf Glow, feels violent and unsettled. Like it would claw itself from the earth if it had the strength, the stones, though clean, feel sick with blood, or feel slick with blood. Something of the ritual and turmoil of the Stone Sea has warped its isolated place over the years. Or this isolated place. I apologize that I can't seem to read properly today. You feel energy well up from the ground and, with reckless enthusiasm, form a bond with Vendrian's well. This place isn't what you'd call stable. I wonder if this spire hasn't... It's a wonder this spire hasn't fallen down a chasm. Is it me or is this? Or is it the magical field of the spire in motion? Churning? This place seems to come alive to your presence, just like the mountain spire did. Only here, instead of a constant arcane hum, it's more of an intermittent scrape and shout. Isn't a steady hum a neurotic choir? Waterfall, maybe? All I know for sure is that one of these days, I'm going to write a, a treatise on the spires that'll be the envy of, well, the handful of sages still left. This is incredibly unnerving. Does anyone else... Does anyone feel like they're about to tip over? Why does the floor seem to be rocking? And we can now build the training grounds or the infirmary. Mm. I guess we'll go with the training grounds? Because it does provide more physical boost to stuff. And we have a... I don't know if that's a lot of power or what. But anyways... Yes, let's build a training ground. Fantastic. Well, wow, that was quick. Trainer R Reese? Uh, haven't we... Do we know you from somewhere? Whoa. What is this? Free weapons, hey? Well, well, well. It's not quite as cool as the grave bow, so we'll just... What? Hot damn! Okay, it's a one-handed weapon, right? Oh, it's not... Eh, it's got more accuracy than the Jagged Remedy's Thirst. A little less DPS, but the accuracy boost should help with, um... Critical hits, right? Or at least that's how- I think that's how it works. Will do. Right. Let's just loot the rest of this place. Who exactly are we training here? Like, this is confusing to me. Like, there's a whole bunch of people here training. Oh, whoa, dude, if your arrow misses that, and it falls down there, someone's gonna die. Probably. Get the Warren short bow. Cool, fantastic. And I wonder if anything would have changed if we had taken our beast woman with us. Um, what's her kills from shadows? Like, would anything have changed for the story that we just did? Who knows? Oh wow, there's new, there's nine new items since we uh, last visited. Holy crap! Should we hire some more people? I think let's hire some more people. I don't know if it's really going to matter that much, but it's okay. We'll do it anyways. Uh, we'll hire some cheap people, I guess. Sure. Hire them. Fantastic. And the one for the forge, I suppose, as well. Sure. Because we have a fair bit of money. I mean, not a ton, but, you know. A decent amount. She'll appear next time we go. Okay, cool. Um. Dream Slayer? Okay. Trainer Reese. The man before you offers a nod at your approach. He meets your eyes hesi hesitatingly and pauses before speaking. Thank you for having me, Fatebinder. The name's Reese. I'm here because I'm good at just two things. Killing my foes and seeing where, my, where the currents flow. I'd rather not get caught on the wrong side of history, so I'm here to humbly offer my sword. I'm well versed in many forms of combat and can help you stay versatile during a fight, should you wish it. 
Why did you choose to follow me now? These spires have towered over us for generations. Whoever made them was far beyond us, mere peasants uh, on the ground. They were objects of wonder and legend in Tearsman's stories, and now you've claimed them. That's reason enough for me. Well, what can I do here? If you want to hone your fighting skills or perhaps learn some new ones, this is the place. But really, this spire is your domain. What you do and who you invite to your aid, to aid you, is your choice. Well, I'd like to train. Um, I guess in train subterfuge? What happens if I hit 50? What does that do? Tell me what it does. I don't know what it does. What does it do? It confuses me. Lol. And I guess that's kind of it. I mean, we could speak to Barrack or um, Kills from Shadows, but... Where's Eb? Oh, Eb, there you are. Do we need to talk to you? I don't think we need to talk to you. So we have the Azure Shield, which gives me Champion's Boon. Uh, let's actually go back to our... Wait, wait, we can go back to the Dawning Spire in the Stone Sea, okay. And I get the feeling that we're probably going to need to kill... Um... Cairn. I'm guessing he's some kind of stone giant dude. Uh, here we have the... Oh yeah, yeah, let's go to the Mount Spire. Let's rest, and then go to the Spire with a Forge. And then from there we will, I guess, um... Oh, see if we can upgrade our uh, weapons and or our weapons and whatnot. Yeah. Yes, let's rest. And I will be right back. And we're back. And now though we've rested and are now unable to speak, apparently. Let's I guess go to the Sunset Spire. Is that where I have the forge? Tell me that's where I have the forge. In Lethian's Crossing, yes. And then we should also go to the spire in uh the ocean spire. And uh See what we have there. Ah, uh, what are they doing? I forget. I was doing something. We're going to see if we can upgrade some of our items. Or something for me. Can we get any of this? Oh, we can. Well, well, well. Are the alchemist's gloves? Ah, you know what? This might actually be a good thing for Lantry here. So, it requires 10 hide, which we do have. Can we get the... No, we need one more recruit, I believe. Oh, wow. Huh. That's cool. Flashing Thunder, that's a two-handed weapon. No. Headhunter? Nah, I need more more people. Zeal? Hmm. Let's actually see if we can just upgrade our stuff first. So this is a masterwork item. So don't think that really needs any upgrading. However, the Azure Shield is not. So let's see if we can upgrade this. We just need four bronze. It's a crap ton of bronze rings. But it sh uh, it doesn't really Upgraded that much though. Mm. Let's do it anyways. We have upgraded it. Fantastic. And we need more recruits to be able to upgrade it even more. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do that now. Uh, where are we? The forge. Let's get someone else here. The cheap guy? Sure. Or I mean I say cheap guy, but he's not that cheap actually. He's Fairly expensive still. Can we upgrade it to... We, we can or we can't? What are you... Game, what are you trying to tell me here? 50 bronze rings and 7 bronze ingots. Why not? Because we need to go away and come back? Is that what you're tell trying to tell me here? Jerks. Fine, be that way. Can you not block my screen? Thank you. That'd be great. 
Our halibut's nothing special, so I think I don't think I'll be upgrading that. Um, do I have any special metal helms here? Is this anything cool? No, no, I don't want to. I want to see if I can maybe equip it. That doesn't look cool at all. No, no, I like the look of this. Hmm. And I believe we may be able to craft the commander's plate now. So it's going to take oh, one iron ring and ten bronze ingots. So it gives me armor six and recovery plus one. This gives me even more. Um, maybe not then. It's a little underwhelming, not gonna lie. I was kind of expecting more from these artifacts, but they're not really all that amazing. Can we forge this though? Should we? Possibly. Nightwalker's boots? We need Hound Hide's mantle. Apparently, that's a thing. Very well. Well, I'm not going to do that. Um, so maybe we'll uh, leave it off for now and uh, do something else in the meantime. Okay. We hired someone who can work with bronze or whatever. What do you have to sell? I'm not going to listen to you because I'm not all that interested in what you have to say. Uh, train? Control fire? No, I don't need to control anything. Except your insolence, you jerk. Let me see what you have to say. Okay. There we go, that's a little better stuff. Um. Actually, maybe not. Eh, no, wait. Oh, it gives me arcane armor. Ah, interesting. Although, it pretty much does away with my pierce... Armor, so maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. It's mostly like an, you know, defense against uh, magic. It seems. Heavy bronze armor? No. Iron foot knockers, spiked iron helm. Hmm. It is all very interesting, but maybe not. Where the hell are we? Where are we going? Blood and Mark, we have to speak to you, right? Uh, Blood and Mark at Ashfield. Okay. Let's go over to Ashfield. Is it really closer to go to Ashfield via there? I feel like Mountain Spire's like right around there, no? My three days, one hour. Let's see. Let's see if the game will actually know it. We have to go somewhere else. Because the runic hall. When we're going here, because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we haven't gotten um, via Lantry's uh, Voice of the Ages skill or something. So we're just going to make sure that I have everything explored here before we progress. Because I know that was something that I wanted to uh, get back to eventually whenever I got uh, Lantry leveled up. And I think I'm in the right place. Am I? Please tell me I'm in the right, I'm in the right place. That's, yeah, I think, I think this is it. I think this is the right place. Fantastic. So please, Lantry, learn that thing. No, 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 don't, don't go there. Study the rune. Good job, Lantry. You're doing me a proud. Nothing over there. Uh, something over here, fantastic. Probably? I'm assuming. I'm basically just looking for those hand marks all over the place. And we've cleared out all the traps, so I don't think we need to worry about anything else here. S Sigil of Spell Surge. Good job, Lantry. If only I had this skill before we got here. I'd be saving us a hell of a lot of time. But no. This is what I like to do. I like to waste my time. And the time of my viewers, apparently, too. Although, wasn't there a section here 
that we couldn't really access because, um... Well, we just couldn't access it or something? I forget. No, wait. Siren, you I go must. over there. You activate that button and that let Lantry go over this way. Learn the sigil. Fantastic. Timeless Form 3. Sounds like a terrible uh, movie sequel. Timeless Form 3. Featuring Steven Seagal. Old as fuck. Got saggy man boobs. Might be able to kick your ass, possibly. And also featuring Catherine Zeta-Jones. For no apparent reason. Just featuring a whole bunch of old... Kind of washed up actors. Ah, I don't. Although I don't know if Catherine Zeta Jones is washed up. She's still looking, you know, very beautiful. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I know for a fact Steven Seagal definitely doesn't look beautiful. But who knows? All right. Uh, where else do we have where we haven't learned certain sigils? here but I don't still I still don't know how to get in there though that's the issue um maybe it's something to do with this thing here let's see if we can open that if you can go over there and activate this okay that's not working that's not working either so apparently it is the red key all right well then never mind Damn it. How do I get there? Oh, something to do with that? That would make a lot of sense. Did I just not activate this? Or what's the issue? Why did I... It's not responding to torch keys from these old walls. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to get torch keys from somewhere else. That makes a lot of sense. And apparently we, we found them. Okay, can we... Get into ranged combat with them? You got it. No, apparently it's not possible. Oh, wait, are you using your... No, no, no. Use that, please. Thank you. Uh, can you reach from there? Verse? I'm not here. Yeah, you can. Where are you going? Where are you guys going? Verse is just doing her thing. You know you guys can't get any closer, right? I don't know why you guys are trying. You know what? Don't try. Just get back to where Verse is, because we're going to be traveling on to the next part of the map. See? She did it all by herself. She didn't need your help. Yes, stupid joke. Okay. Let's move on up to the next map. Try to see if we've gotten everything? I think we should have at this point. I think there were like maybe four or something sigils that we uh, weren't able to get. Possibly? But no, let's let's move on to this place. Is that is that only opens that thing, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then once we're up there, uh we will move on to Where are we going to? To the library? Is that what we're doing? Possibly. Alright, let's go to the library spire. No, wait, that's where we are though, isn't it? We are in fact at the library spire. And I've been told there's like nine new things for me to look at here. What does that mean? What's the status of your research? I'm happy to say I've made great progress. He beams at you and exhales a welcome breath, allowing me to show you my findings. Yay? Oh, cool. Okay, so you give me random stuff, or how does it work exactly? Do I need to assign you to something? I hope not, because that's kind of a burden for me. That's a deal breaker. It's not. I'm just, I'm lying. Uh, research something for me. What? Archive? No? Research items? Hmm... Drug recipe. 
Items, potion recipes, shield plans. Wawa Weewa. Let's go with um, that thing. And let's make sure that we have more recruits at the library spire. Sure, hire the cheapest guys. Fantastic. So we should have at least four people here now, which is good. Um, Vendrian's well. No, I don't think we necessarily need more people for that place. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're... Maybe one more higher. Just for shits and giggles. Should I sell some stuff? I think I should actually sell some stuff. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah. Why don't I... I know I'm kind of like faffing about, kind of wasting my time a little bit, but let's spend a few minutes, the, the few minutes that are remaining in this episode, to just kind of like make sure that our inventory is uh, not getting clogged with useless shit. Show me what you have for sale. And by that, I mean to say that I'm going to sell you my shit. Not literally, of course, but close. Let's trade that crap. And we have way too much of this shit. Uh, let's basically sell all duplicates that we have. Right? Because I don't think we need more than just one, at least. And you know what? Let's sell the stuff that's of lower quality, because we don't need that crap either. Should we do high to low for value? Let's do that. Vendoring Guard. I don't need that crap. Don't need that crap. I think basically all of this is just useless, unless I'm not selling any unique items, am I? It's very possible I might be selling some unique items. So, how do I cancel? How do I cancel? Leave, yes! Because I don't know how to cancel the uh, thing that I put up for sale here. It's in my inventory? Why is it in my inventory? Alright, let's go with, uh, oh, this stuff, right. Um, yeah, I normally don't need that. I don't need that for sure. Maybe I should keep the ceremonial fate binder of two non armor? Possibly. Scarless robes. Only Landry can equip that, so let's leave that. And let's keep their unique items and not sell those, because that feels. I. Uh, seems a little dickish to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's sell that for sure. We don't need Sage's boots. Probably not. Lantry, do you need Sage's boots, buddy? No, you're good. Sage's hood? No, definitely not. Earthshaker hood? No. Actually, maybe we should see if, um... What's-her-face could do with this. Ah, you look better with your uh, gladiator sandals, though. So... Hmm... Don't think it's entirely necessary. So let's, yeah, let's sell those. Uh, Verse, do you need these horde boots? No, you're good, right? Uh, no. Iron gauntlets? Well, I definitely know, don't need these, that's for sure. These are heavy? No, wait. Well, they are heavy. Okay, cool. So I don't need them for sure. Fantastic. Let's sell what we have there for now. Um, let's make sure that all of this goes back into our inventory. Iron Walker boots don't need that crap. And I don't think I can break these down for parts, right? So, it's kind of useless for me to carry them around. I'm assuming I could be wrong. Scavenger leather boots? Verse? Need them? No. Light leather helm? No. Nope. Nope. Don't need any of that crap. Anyone need these heavy cloth bracers? No, you're good. I don't need that crap. Don't need that. Uh, stalwart helm? No. Oh, wait, wait. What, what am I selling? What did I just accidentally click on? Nothing? Okay, cool. I didn't actually accidentally select on something, did I? Because all of these unique items, they're basically... They are actually of, like, lower quality crap, I think, right? So... 
I'm just double checking, making sure I'm not selling any unique items here. I think we're good. Mirrored stompers? I don't need them. Board boots? These exquisite ones? No, you're good. Iron walker boots? Do I want these? No. Uh, we're selling th that? Possibly? Maybe we'll keep on. I'll hold on to it for, for now. I'll sell that. Sell that as well. Sell that. And that. And that. Um... I think otherwise we're good in that department, so let's trade all that. Make a shit ton of cash. And we're gonna sell most of these. Especially if they're not unique. Yeah. Useless crap. We're, we'll keep Rotten Ruin. Although it's not nearly as good as anything that we have now. It's still a unique item, so... Gutseeker? Isn't this Versus? Yeah. We'll keep Versus stuff here. We're, we're not gonna give your stuff away, Versus. Don't worry about it. It's okay, girl. Don't worry. Yeah, that's useless crap. Yep. Mm-hmm. Don't need any of this shit. Maybe I should do this off-screen. I don't know. Hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just kind of like verbalizing the process that kind of goes on in my head as I'm selling um, items. And maybe this will help you guys in uh, deciding on what to sell and what not, what to keep? Possibly. No, we don't need that crap either. No. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna need most of these, most of this crap, actually. So... We should be making a shitload of money. Do I want this? Uh, is it a unique item? It seems like it's a unique item, so maybe I should hold on to it? Yeah. Man, I've just... gathered a whole bunch of... useless shit, haven't I? Syzygy, apparently? No. We're gonna keep that. Because it sounds like it's a unique item. Either that or it's just got a really stupid name. Tireless Protector. I guess we'll keep it? Not really necessary? Yeah, we're selling that crap for sure. Skyblade Javelin, don't need it. Don't need that. Titan's Knuckle, we'll keep that. Harbinger's Wings. Huh. Titan's Hoof, keep that as well. Unstoppable Force. The Weeping Wound. Iron Great Axe? No. Although Barrack might, um... Actually, you know what? Maybe we should leave some of these for Barrack. So that we're not just selling everything? What would Barrack like? You know what? He'd probably uh, like the Iron Great Axe? Or you know what? We have even better stuff. Never mind. Yeah, we can't sell this shit. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Bane Touch Staff? Cool. I guess we'll leave it. And we'll also leave the uh, Iron Marshal's Heirloom Blade. We'll sell one of them, because we have two. Apparently the Heirloom Blade wasn't quite as unique as um, she probably thought. Great Bow, don't need it. Ring Blade? Sure, we'll keep it. Sever. And Long Claws Rage, we'll keep. As well as the Titan's Blade, holy crap. A lot of unique stuff, but man. Now we're like stupid freaking rich, holy shit, it's awesome. Maybe we should use this opportunity to just hire the shit out of people. You. You just had your shit hired. What? Can't hire any more recruits for this upgrade? Why not? What are you talking about, man? Here. Oh. I guess we can only... Huh. I guess we can only, um... Hire a certain number of people. We can't hire everyone. Interesting. Kind of. Anyways, um, I think we're unfortunately out of time. And I've um, dawdled on long enough with the item selling and shit. And I do really hope you forgive me for that. But um, again, I kind of wanted to show you my thought process in uh, what to keep and what to sell. So hopefully my banter provided for interesting diversion. Probably not. So again, I apologize for that, and hopefully if I have to do that in the future, again, I'll, um, I'll just do it off screen so I'm not wasting your time. But yeah, we'll leave it off here for now and come back again in the next episode, so thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!